Hello, good day viewers. As part of our lesson for solving problems related to quadratic functions, here we have another question which is directly related. We are given that if 3 is one of the roots of this quadratic equation, we are asked to find the value of k, which is this, and other roots of this quadratic equation. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. So since 3 is one of the roots of this quadratic equation, to find the value of k, we are going to substitute the value of x equal to 3 in this equation. So let x equal to 3. We have x squared meaning 3 squared, which is 9, minus k times x meaning k times 3, which is 3k, plus 42 the whole of this equal to zero. Now we are going to add the like times together, nine and 42, negative three K, this plus this is uh, 51, the whole of this equal to zero. By taking 51 to the right, the sign will change to negative. So we have three K, negative three K, the whole of this equal to negative 51. To find the value of k, we divide both sides by the coefficient of the k, which is negative 3. So k alone is equal to negative 51 divided by negative 3. k equals negative will cancel negative. 51 divided by 3 is equal to 17. And hence, k is equal to 17 as required. But we are also asked to find the other root of this quadratic equation. Having obtained the value of k to be equal to 17, we can substitute it back into the main equation. And the main equation is this, x squared minus kx, which is 17x, plus 42, the whole of this equal to zero. We can solve this quadratic equation by any means to obtain the two roots of the quadratic equation. But since we are given one of the roots of this quadratic equation, we can transform it into factor of this quadratic equation. If x is equal to 3, we say x minus 3 is equal to 0. And x minus 3 is one of the factors of this quadratic expression or quadratic equation. Now to obtain the other factor, we can say this divided by this using long division. Inside we have x squared minus 17 x plus 42. And outside we have this factor x minus 3. We say x squared divided by x, it will give us x. Then x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Then we subtract these two functions. This minus this is 0. Negative 17x minus negative 3x this minus will change this to positive. So it is like saying negative 17x then plus 3x, which is going to make it negative 14x. Then 42 minus 19 is still 42. Negative 14x divided by x, x will cancel x leaving negative 14 alone. And we say this times this, negative 14 times x is negative 14x. Negative times negative is positive. 14 times 3 is 42. We equally subtract. This minus this is 0. This minus this is also 0. Therefore, x minus 14 is another factor of this quadratic equation. Hence, to find the other root of this quadratic equation, we are going to set this to be equal to 0 x minus 14 equals 0. If negative 14 crosses over, it becomes positive. x equal to positive 14. And positive 14 is the second root of this quadratic equation. So we have obtained the other root as required and the value of k, which is 17. And this is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.